Second Shemuel chapter 3 Now there was long war between the house of Shaul and the house of Dawid. And Dawid became stronger and stronger, but the house of Shaul became weaker and weaker. And to Dawid were sons born in Hebron, and his firstborn was Amnon of Achinoam, the Yisraelit. And his second, Kilahab of Avigail, the woman of Naval, the Karameli. And the third, Abshalom, the son of Ma'aka, the daughter of Talmai, king of Geshur. And the fourth, Adoniyah, the son of Haggit. And the fifth, Shephatiyah, the son of Avital, and the sixth, Yithra'am of Agla, Dawid's woman. These were born to Dawid in Hebron. And it was, while there was war between the house of Shaul and the house of Dawid, that Avner made himself strong in the house of Shaul. Now Shaul had a concubine, whose name was Rithpah, the daughter of Ayah. And Ish-bosheth said to Havner, For what reason hast thou gone into my father's concubine? Then was Avner very wroth for the words of Ish-bosheth, and said, Am I a dog's head? that belongeth to Yehudah. This day do I show kindness to the house of Shaul thy father, to his brothers, and to his friends, and have not delivered thee into the hand of Dawid, and yet thou chargest me this day with a fault concerning this woman? God do so to Avner, and more also, if, as Yahweh hath sworn to Dawid, I do not even so to him, to transfer the kingdom from the house of Shaul, and to set up the throne of Dawid over Yisrael and over Yehudah, from Dan even to Beersheba. And he could not answer Avner another word, because he feared him. And Avner sent messengers to Dawid on his behalf, saying, Whose is the land? Saying also, Make thy league with me, and behold, my hand shall be with thee, to bring about all Yisrael to thee. And he said, Well, I will make a league with thee, but one thing I require of thee, that is, thou shalt not see my face except thou first bring Michal, Shaul's daughter, when thou comest to see my face. And Dawid sent messengers to Ish-bosheth, Shaul's son, saying, Deliver me my woman Michal, whom I betrothed to me for a hundred foreskins of the Polish team. And Ish-bosheth sent and took her from with a man, even from Paltihel, the son of Laish. And her man went with her, weeping as he went, and followed her to Bahurim. Then said Avner to him, Go, return. And he returned. And Avner had communication with the elders of Yisrael, saying, in times past ye sought for Dawid to be king over you. Now then, do it. For Yahweh hath spoken of Dawid, saying, By the hand of my servant Dawid, I will save my people Yisrael out of the hand of the Polish team, and out of the hand of all their enemies. And Abner also spoke in the ears of Binyamin, and Abner 
went also to speak in the ears of Dawid in Hebron all that seemed good to Yisrael and to the whole house of Binyamin. So Abner came to Dawid to Hebron and twenty men with him. And Dawid made Abner and the men that were with him a feast. And Abner said to Dawid, I will arise and go, and will gather all Yisrael to my lord the king, that they make a covenant with thee, and that thou mayest reign over all that thy soul desireth. And Dawid sent Abner away, and he went in peace. And behold, the servants of Dawid and Joab came from a foray, and brought in a great spoil with them. But Avner was not with Dawid in Hebron, for he had sent him away, and he was gone in peace. When Joab and all the host that was with him were come, they told Joab, saying, Avner, the son of Ner, came to the king, and he hath sent him away, and he is gone in peace. Then Joab came to the king and said, what hast thou done? Behold, Abner came to thee. Why is it that thou hast sent him away, and he is quite gone? Thou knowest Abner, the son of Ner, that he came to deceive thee, and to know thy going out and thy coming in, and to know all that thou doest. And when Joab was come out from Dawith, he sent messengers after Avner, and they brought him back from the well of Sirah, but Dawid knew it not. And when Avner was returned to Hebron, Joab took him aside into the midst of the gate to speak with him quietly, and smote him there in the body, so that he died for the blood of Ashael his brother. And afterward, when Dawid heard it, he said, I and my kingdom are guiltless before Yahweh for ever of the blood of Avner, the son of Ner. Let it fall upon the head of Joab and upon all his father's house, and let there not fail from the house of Joab one that hath an issue, or that is a leper, or that leaneth on a staff, or that falleth by the sword or that lacketh bread. So Joab and Abishai his brother slew Abner, because he had killed their brother Ashael at Gibeon in the battle. And Dawid said to Joab and to all the people that were with him, Rend your clothes and gird you with sackcloth and mourn before Abner. And King Dawid followed the bier. And they buried Abner in Hebron, and the king lifted up his voice, and wept at the grave of Abner, and all the people wept. And the king lamented for Abner, and said, Should Abner die as a fool dieth? Thy hands were not bound, nor thy feet put into fetters, as a man falleth before the children of iniquity, so didst thou fall, and all the people wept again over him, and all the people came to cause Dawid to eat bread while it was yet day. But Dawid swore an oath, saying, God do so to me, and more also, if I taste bread or aught else till the sun be down. And all the people took notice of it, and it pleased them as whatsoever the king did pleased all the people. So all the people and all Yisrael understood that day that it was not of the king to slay Avner, the son of Ner. And the king said to his servants, Know ye not that there is a prince and a great man fallen this day in Yisrael? And I am this day weak, though anointed king, and these men, the sons of Deruyah, are too hard for me. 
Yah will reward the evildoer according to his wickedness.